Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McLean behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at the 2017 Lexus GX460. As you can see here, Lexus's luxury SUV, of course, seven passengers available. Uh, we'll jump right into it. What's new from 2016 to 2017? Well, you're going to see a majority of it right here, which is an added availability of a sport design package. Really similar in terms of the F Sport package and some of the other models. Gives you a different grill, some extra chrome pieces, things like that. Um, and also gives you, or, or sorry, in second rows, captain's chairs are also available this year, which we'll actually show you in just a second. But as we come along to the side, that Sport Design Package also gives you these 18-inch split six-spoke wheels, which are really nice. Um, it, again, just gives you, a, which actually no one's ever seen these before. They haven't ever been on any um, Lexus model in the past. This also does come equipped with the driver support package, which gives you the surround view monitoring, intelligent lane control, um, a few other features here. Walt, I'm going to open the back so you can show everyone what those captain's chairs look like, because that is a first, again, for the GX uh, to have those captain's chairs. Other Lexus Toyota vehicles have had them in the past, but this is actually a first for the GX itself. And you, again, you do have the dual screen entertainment system, which gives you wireless headphones. That's a $2,000 option. The sport design package we mentioned before, $1,600. The driver support package with the audio, like I said, gives you the pre-collision. A lot of the safety features on here, $4,300. Um, and then of destination or delivery fee, I should say, $975. Total price on this vehicle, $71,890. So just under, literally just under $72,000. $72, so we'll kind of close the door here. We'll come around to the back again. For those of you who haven't been familiar, Lexus redesigned the GX a few years ago and really gave it a nice, clean, crisp look in terms of they, they've changed the headlights and that sort of thing. They still, this still does give you this, and Walt, I'll bring you around here, still does give you the pop open hatch right here, which is a nice feature if you want to load things in or just get some airflow going through there. And to open the vehicle, it still is this side swinging hatch. So for some of you, maybe with garages, whatever else it is, some people like that because you don't have to worry about height as much as you do more just about width of opening it to the back. Obviously, we are on the back here. The rear seats, the third row, is folded down as it currently stands right now. I'm going to pull them up, though, and so you can see what those look like. There we go. Just do one for right now. So as you can see, it, does, it is power, which is nice. Again, what you would expect for a vehicle of this price point. As it comes back, you can kind of control the reclining, that sort of thing. Um, and the headrests do pop up just like that. And so again, you can see, definitely gives you a good amount of space here in the back. I don't have any cargo room for you. I'll actually look that up here in just a second as we continue on with the review. And I'll step around, Walt. I do apologize um, for that. Great, good amount of storage here in the back, more than enough for the, all the kids' gear and stuff. And again, if you wanted to be in the back here and, and you wanted uh, seven passengers, you could fit them in here. Now, the floor is going to be a little bit uh, taller than what you might expect, but just something to note. Walt, I will open the front so you can give everyone a view of the uh, front seat. There's not a whole lot that has changed on the interior. In fact, there's not really anything that's changed at all. I do want to point out this is the luxury trim level. So there's two trim levels available, the base and the luxury. I wanted to point out for the luxury that you get a lot of great standard features. Rear auto leveling air springs, headlight washers, auto dimming side mirrors, blind spot monitoring, a heated steering wheel, mahogany wood trim on the steering wheel, which Walt can show you in a second. Um, upgraded leather upholstery, a cargo cover, power folding, third row seats that I, we showed you before. So quite a few different things. We've got a 4.6 liter V8 underneath the hood, 301 horsepower with a six speed automatic. It is a full time four wheel drive. I can tow up to 6,500 pounds. You can raise and lower the height of the vehicle. I think Walt showed you that in there. You've got several different settings in terms of comfort, normal, and then the sport mode, of course. I do want to see if I can figure out here what your cargo capacity is right here. Um, 64.7 feet of cargo room, which is a really nice feature. Um, in terms of the drive of this, very luxurious very comfortable, very quiet on the inside, and that's what you're gonna get with a body on frame construction, which again, not a lot of luxury SUVs have. So if you wanna go, and I've heard other reviewers say this, well, if you wanna go into your backwoods cabin, 
and going over rough terrain and all this other stuff and you want to do that in style this may be the vehicle for you well yes but it's also honestly it's a really nice road vehicle it's super quiet had several phone calls on the bluetooth and it was crystal clear no complaints there it's a super nice vehicle albeit for a pretty hefty price tag. So something you'll have to be the judge of if you're in the market for this type of a vehicle. If you are, hit your local Lexus dealer. We are a fan of this vehicle. If you can afford it, it's solidly made. It's gonna go for many, many miles. My in-laws actually have a 2005 model of this, so the old body style, um, and that's still running. I think it's got 200,000 miles on it or something like that right now. So, And they've really maintained it well. So just, if, if you want luxury and you want longevity, this is definitely the car for you. Take a look at this at your local Lexus dealer. When you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.